Vampire Weekend, former record of the week, Harmony Hall, love that. Really nice track. 838. We're live on Facebook, by the way. Go to the Chris Moyle Show on Radio X Facebook page or go on YouTube. And are we on Twitter as well, Alf? Yeah, we are. We're on them all. There you go. We're on everything. <laughs> yeah, we are. So Twitter at Radio X, YouTube Radio X, and Facebook, the Chris Moyle Show on Radio X Facebook page. You can hear our fax machine in the corner. It is going crazy. Yeah, it's 1995. Everyone. Exactly. It's amazing, isn't it? And we're about to bring in Mr. James Buckley, who is back with a new series, a second series of his show, White Gold, which I've not seen, you've not seen, Matt Alfie's has. not seen, but Matt has. I have seen it. So I have a lot of questions for him I want to ask about it. And uh, here he is now. He's going to walk in. It's Mr. James Buckley. Yeah. There he is. You look very confused. No, you look like, what am I doing in here? Oh, okay. Come on in. Nice to see you. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Hello. How are you? We've not met before, have we? No. What are you doing on Radio X? You're establishment, man. I know. You're part of the establishment. You're not rock and roll. What do you mean? Whoa. What establishment? I've not been BBC for six years. Really? Yeah. Christ. 2012, I left. September. Yeah. So it's almost six and a half years. God, it feels like it feels like five minutes. It doesn't it yeah, just in a good way. <laughs> you didn't listen to the old show. Don't give. I it don't listen that. to radio on, man. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm you know, no that's one does t- anymore. It's establishment. Yeah, <laughs> no, you're so rock and roll. That's right, I'm too subversive. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but you say that. But you had kids really early. You you would settle yep. down. You didn't. You know. You yeah. didn't Wait and yeah. go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> How old were you when you? Twenty four when I had my first child. It's young, isn't it? It's well, young. It is it's really young. Actually, young. Yeah. I think I was born 40. <laughs> <laughs> it, didn't, it really didn't affect my life that much because I like staying in and watching films. How did you meet your what, your now wife? Really unromantic, just and just in a nightclub on a night out. Oh, you actually did really meet in a nightclub? And I thought, I was DJing, and I thought, she's attractive. And then I spoke to her, and then we started talking about like the Beatles and stuff like this, and then I sort of went, oh, no, I'm... Just, falling in love with you you didn't say that to her no i didn't say that phew but i was like oh that's not meant to happen (laughs) what on the first conversation you were like like, no you weren't yeah i was like oh no you're really cool and oh dear what's gonna happen now (laughs) by the um, way can we just unplug the fax machine because this is a beautiful (laughs) moment we found a fax machine yeah. James has bought a fax machine. It's, right. Yeah, it's proper. Awesome. He bought a fax machine off eBay for thirty quid. Yeah, thirty quid. Yeah, yeah. it's not bad, is that's it? So we're getting really people cool. to send us faxes. That's really good because usually you see all these old Nokia's and stuff like that go for a that's million right. pounds now or something. <laughs> I know, right? So you met your 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 now wife Claire in yeah. a nightclub. You got yeah. chatting, and then you just gave her the the James Buckley charm. Yes, pretty and much. That was it. She couldn't yeah. resist. Knocked a bandy. Eh? Lucky. And, <laughs> and, uh, and then how long were you together before you got engaged? If you fell in love with the first conversation you ever um, had with her, it's probably I think we were engaged just over a, two years later. I mean, we had a child just over a year later, so oh, it was, it was all very quick. Look mm. at you. Yeah, I don't muck about. So how old were you then when you met? her? No, oh, twenty three. Oh, I guess twenty three. Yeah, I'm, or I might have been twenty two. I think wow. I was twenty two. Oh, that wasted fame and opportunity, and you were just <laughs> at home doing kids stuff and whatnot. How old are your kids? They're five and seven now. Wow, look at that. Two boys. Look at that. Harrison and Jude. Harrison and Jude. Yeah. Because you're a big Beatles fan, is that it? Or the pair it. of you are? Yeah. If you have a third, come on, Ringo. Oh, come Ringo on. would be great, wouldn't it? I don't know. I'd be up for it, but then it becomes. It, it, I mean, we're mm. already. We've already used up the Beatles quite a lot with the kids' names. No, you yeah. haven't. Two kids, two names. There's so many places you could go. Got to keep going. Submarine, everything. <laughs> Submarine. Submarine Buckley. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Let it be. Let it be. Yeah. Let it yeah. be. That's my name. Is Let it be. You can call it Let it for short. There That's you go. Fine. Yeah. I love That's that. Nice, that. Uh, now, uh, you're here to talk about... You're not here to talk about your relationship. I mean, we no. could, if you want to, if, if you feel like it's... I'll, I'll talk about anything. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some I've gin, got, by I've the got way. nothing to say, but I'll talk about anything. Uh, yeah, there's gin. We've got gin we, sent in. We've got sent some gin, gin if you fancy... Uh, I mean, it's, it is... Like a, gin. It's a, Kitchener's they're, they're gin. Ama- honestly, try a bit. They're amazing. Right, Seriously. Let's have a little 
yeah. No, he's, he's, not, he's, he's not convinced, but you just wait for the magic to happen. Yeah. Watch this. And he's going to go. That's very nice. Uh, yeah. See? Isn't it very good? When I do this with all our guests, by the way, it's just you. Thank you very much. For now, I, I want to talk about um, White Gold, yeah. which is your new show. It's yeah. the second season. Now, I'm going to be honest. I haven't seen any of this show. I didn't see season one. You'd like it, man. Now, yeah, but hang on a second. I do think I'd like it. Yeah. I think yeah. I'd love it. But wasn't this the most watched BBC Two show on the iPlayer when it came out? Do you I've know this? I've got no idea. Yeah. yeah. So how do I not know about the show? I don't know. I mean, still not a, lot of people, not a lot of people know about it. I was talking to someone the other day. I mean, the first episode went out last Wednesday. You're right. And you can watch every single episode on iPlayer now. Which I love that. I love that. I do too. I mean, you'd, if you've got a bit of time, you want to use it up watching as much as you can. Yeah. What is it? Half an hour long? Yeah. Great. So you can knock out a few episodes. Yeah. Lovely. Nice. And, um... I was talking with someone last week and they overheard me talking about White Gold and she went, oh yeah, no, I've, I've got to say, I love White Gold. I absolutely loved it. When, when's the next series out? And I went, tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, and this is someone who loves the show. <laughs> 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 well, it is, it's hard, but there's so many shows. There's just so much good. There's That's the, the thing, and people don't watch television in the traditional way anymore because it's it doesn't matter when anything comes out because you can, mm. you know maybe you've never watched The Sopranos or Breaking mm. Bad but you can right now if you want to yeah, yeah. and that's the, that's the nice thing you can watch you can watch all of the second and, I, and this is what people do they'll start watching the second season and then they'll go oh I like this then they'll probably go back and watch season one yeah mm. which is a weird way to watch it, it. Is, yeah. so the premise of the show is you want me to sum yeah. it up? Well, you? I can say it, but then there's no point you being here if you I probably do, do a better work. job but uh, <laughs> basically it's a sitcom it's set in the 80s. It's about double glazing salesmen Rock and roll. ripping off old ladies, basically. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it. But <laughs> 80s clothes, 80s music, yeah. 80s cars. What's not to love? Yeah. It's good. Um, so, yeah, so the first the first series was out 2017, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Do you want me to give you a, your, your bio? <laughs> Would this help you, James? Well... <laughs> Oh, this is my level. All right, <laughs> I'm trying my hardest. This is this is the level of my capabilities. What of, of everything? What? Yeah, I've got very low standards. Really? <laughs> yeah. What it, what what does get you excited? What are you what do you get like crazy what geeky gets me about? Excited? Uh, I love. To, I do like video games. Do you? Yeah, what I do, do you like play? Video game. Uh, I, anything. I play. I play everything and anything. And old new. I uh, got a real passion for video. What games. have you got? What what console have you got? Uh, it'd be easier to name one that I haven't, probably. Really? Re yeah. Well, you've got the lot of them yeah. all? Yeah, go All right, you've got an Xbox? Yes, of course. You've got a PS4? Yes. Nintendo 64? Yes, got a Nintendo 64. Cube? I've not got a game. No, right. a game cube. Write that yeah. down, Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Wii? Uh, got Wii, yeah. Got Switch. We've got Mega Have Drive. Got Switch, got Master it? System. Good luck. Wow. Do you... Atari 2600. And, hang on. And your missus allows all this in the house, or do you have a shed at the back with all of it in and a there's, load of monitors? There's a room at the top of the house. Man cave. Is, yes. Man cave. Yes. That's very wise. And when you acquire one of these new things for yourself, does your missus literally go, that's going upstairs? Well, it, it, I know the rules already. Okay, it fine. She doesn't even need to say. It doesn't You're have that to be comfortable uttered. with each other. I get, I get the parcel and I scurry upstairs. Yeah. I don't even open it downstairs. <laughs> I get, I get anything like that that I like, something that I'm into, yeah. and my girlfriend will just go, "Ah, oh, that look great upstairs." Yeah, that's literally <laughs> yeah. that's where it's going. That's the polite. That ain't staying down here <laughs> at all. Uh, I was, I had, a, I had a good, I had a good Xbox session yesterday. Did you? What were you playing? I yesterday? played a bit of Call of Duty. Okay. What one? Uh, and what a bit of the new one, the, right, okay. the, the, with the blackout. Are you getting better at that now? Because you were saying you, you tended to die after four seconds. Rubbish. That, right? The only way I can uh, I can finish, there's like 75, 80 people in one game. The only right. way I can end in the top 20 is if I hide. Yeah, right. that's it. That's my strategy. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm not very good at the game. Right. And I last, I last longer if I don't engage with that's other right. people. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I used to play, I used to love being a sniper in Call of Duty and people would tell you off, they call you a camper. Oh, you shouldn't be doing that. You should get stuck in. And I'm like, but I enjoy it. Yeah. I enjoy it. It's like sometimes I play FIFA, I get bored. All I want to do is tackle people and try and get as many cards as possible. <laughs> right. I know that's not the point of the game, but it's what I like to do. Yeah. Um, so the uh, show, White Gold, uh, second episode uh, tonight. 
Yeah. Uh, what, Wednesday. What no, Wednesday, Wednesday night. Wednesday, sorry, yeah. Wednesday night. Now you're also in a, a, another comedy series in America. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Which is called I Feel Bad. Yeah, it's for NBC. Yeah. How was that? Really good. It was a really good experience. They do they do stuff completely different to how I've spent the last ten years of my life doing uh, making a TV show whilst it's being edited and also going out on television while you're still making it. Oh, really? Oh, it's bizarre. So what you'll be... Is it the traditional American sitcom format of... It's a week to record one app. Is it yeah. studio based in the studio and all that? It's in a studio. It's not live audience, but we right. we we do we we shot it at the Universal Studios and um, it it goes out on TV while you're making it. It just I wow. couldn't un, I, my brain yeah. couldn't accept it. When did you finish filming White Gold? Um, we completely finished just at the end of last year. Right. Okay. So that's like a few months ago already yeah. for you. Now you're done. Whereas the American one. You're filming new eps while the episodes are going out. Yeah, yeah. And I is think... that is that more fun? Um, I, it's always fun. Right. It's always fun. It's just different, and it was just it was it was really interesting, and uh, you get to work with a load of really funny, great people, and um, it was it was really nice. I, I mean, there's worse places in the world than Hollywood as well. Yeah, you yeah. know, and it's just a nice place to. To yeah, be for a while. is this your first time doing something like that over there, like a a series? Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I've been trying. I've been trying for for a few years to try basically to try and get a job over there. I, I it I, it sort of feels like I've gone back to when I was fitting kitchens, where I go and <laughs> price things up and go, yeah, I'll do that. I'm I'm basically walking around Hollywood going, you need a bit of acting doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm your I'll, do that. I'll do that for you. Are you are you English in it? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I can't do the accent. <laughs> uh, and, and what's the difference? So you, you look. So you look at In Between Us, uh, first series of In Between Us. Right, nobody knew it was just yeah. going to be a little comedy show. If it does all right, might get a second series. Let's see what happens. Yeah. And I'd imagine there's no thrills and no spills when you're filming because a lot was most of that on location. I guess In Between Yeah, us? all of it. All of it was on location. Yeah. We weren't in the studio ever. So. I would imagine you didn't have luxurious uh, trailer to relax in no, and, none of and that. people getting you champagne and feeding you grapes. No. So when you go to America mm. for the first series, this is the first season of yep. this, this comedy, yep. is it like you're on season nine of something here? Honestly, I was walking around going, I could save you loads of money. <laughs> <laughs> and you're probably wasting about $5 million a week. <laughs> Give me two million dollars and sure. I'll save you three million dollars. <laughs> I think that's wise. <laughs> so what do you get? You get a trailer. You get a trailer. You get like too much food. Now, if you say to them, "Oh, I'd really like," let's say it comes back, right? Yeah. And you go, oh, you know, "I'd really like an Xbox in my trailer and some." Well, games. I did bring my PlayStation. With you me. did, yeah. yeah. So, but you, you, <laughs> did you put it in your case when you flew from home? No, I've got one in America, so oh, I don't look have at to. You. Yeah. <laughs> you bought another one. <laughs> look at you. But it's uh, yeah, you, you, it's it's a hard life <laughs> on a, on an American TV sitcom. Yeah, and do you love cool. it? Because like we speak to a lot of actors, and for me, right, I would I would love that mm. that dream of being in a big sitcom in America. I would love it, yeah, and amazing. the whole experience of it, I would enjoy. And we have some guests like. Uh, Philip Glenister, right? Sure. Great actor. Yeah. Brilliant. And I was going through, because he's older, I was going through all the shows he's been in, and he's been in everything. He's been in literally the creme de la creme of British television. He's been in Minder and Bergerac and all these yeah. great shows. And he's like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, did that, yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, isn't that great, though? You're in Minder. He's like, yeah. And yeah. I'm like, do you love it, or is it just a job? He goes, nah, it's just a job. That's all it is. It's just a job. Yeah. You know, I enjoy it, but, you know, yeah. uh, and you kind of go, oh, like I think the dream to be hmm. uh, in a superhero movie and have a little action figure of yeah, yourself suppose, would be yeah. cool. I've like, never really thought about it. No, I've, I've, yeah, I can sort of see where Philip's coming from in that because I just see it as I'm just, it's just another day where I'm not up a ladder. And I'm right. Just, <laughs> And do, you, I, do you still think you're going to get a tap on the shoulder any day now going, okay, time's up, you've oh, liked it too long? Oh, yeah, it's going to fall apart soon. You think? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> because I'm just really stubborn as well. And it, like that's the sort of the same thing that, that me and the other boys from The Inbetweeners are as well. We should have... When The Inbetweeners was at its peak, mm. 
we should have just rammed ourselves down everybody's throats then and become <laughs> celebrities and become super famous and stuff like that. We just didn't do it. We just didn't didn't really <laughs> want to. And uh, and then after, obviously after the Inbetweeners, we all got, every TV sitcom, we all got the script first. Yeah. And we all passed on all of them. We're all like, no, I don't think it's very good. And um, there comes a point where you do have to go to work because it's like bills you, you and stuff like money. that. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, because everybody thinks you're on TV. Yeah. And because you can still see the in-betweeners at the touch of two buttons, yeah. everybody assumes that you've got bucket loads of money. Yeah. yeah. There's some money, but it will, but it's not enough to... I, I, I like... I. You know, You're not I, a gazillionaire. I, I spend a lot of money on video games. Well, I'm guessing the, vi- the video games bill is going through the roof at the moment. Plus, you, trying, plus you bought yourself that second PlayStation yeah. in America. Exactly. Hello. Hello. Exactly. Where did that go, by the way? When you oh, left? it's still there, it's still out there. My my wife's got family out there, and I, I leave. I've got so like, I've got an F one fifty pickup truck out there as well. What yeah. you? Yeah. Look at you yeah. living. Wow. I, can't, I love uh, how long were you in America for living and working before you went. We need a truck, love. We need a truck. <laughs> Everyone's got a truck. Got to have a truck. They love a truck here. I got to have a truck. Yeah. There was a day where I was uh, driving my truck. I it, it was down a road called T- Topanga Canyon Boulevard, and it's, it's mountains on either side, and driving towards Malibu. And uh, I had a T-shirt on that said California. <laughs> and I was just thinking to myself, wow, I'm a genuine American. Yeah. If people saw me now, they'd go, are you American? That's yeah. right. <laughs> you look like a local. <laughs> wow. Uh, so did you test drive trucks and then pick that one, or did you just go, I'll have that one? No, I knew exactly what I wanted, an F-150 Raptor. And, uh, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. So you do re- you do need to work if you're buying stuff yeah, like course, this. Yeah, of course, yeah. But that's the thing, we don't. We don't. <laughs> we only want to do stuff that we think is good. Not that we think other people think is good, because, you know, it's impossible to know what other people would do. Well, I, want, I, you I, want... know, I will take my wife and kids down with me once it all dries up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the sign of true love, you know? <laughs> if she really loves you, then she'll hit rock bottom with yeah. you. I think it's totally fair, and bring the kids. Uh, all right, so I want to see I Feel Bad. Is it is it worth watching? I've got no idea how no, you I've can got, watch it I've in this country. I've got a hook up. I've got a way of but doing it. Is, it. It's, it's really nice. It's really, it's, um, it's really, it's quite sweet. It's not as, uh, it's American, so it's not mm. as rude or vulgar <laughs> as what I'm used to doing. Um, they, they do sort of try and gear their shows more towards everyone. Yeah, they want to try and get everyone, uh, everyone to watch it. And it's, it's, a, it's about a woman who's trying to. Sort of juggle between being a really great parent and also really great at her job, and just right. sort of how difficult that is sometimes. And as a parent, um, you, you do have to compromise on on things, and sometimes you have to compromise with your kids. Like you know, when I go to America and stuff, I I, I don't see them for a few so months they and things here, like right. that. Yeah, so it is. Um, that's why I liked. It. That's why it struck a chord with me because it's like, yeah, I know, I know what it's like trying to sort of and there's been jobs that I've turned down that I've been like that could have you know taken me to another level or something like that and it's like well I, I don't I don't want to be away from my kids that long for this and yeah it's got to be tough because I guess as a, well as an actor you want to work yeah right? and you want to do and then you want to do good work so I guess a any kind of work will do if you need the money and then b you want to do good work yeah. and then obviously you want to be as successful as you can but that's the thing you get offered uh a, a series in America, it's tough because you got to. Essentially, you're there on your own, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Which sort of suits me. <laughs> you need to get in The Walking Dead, something like that, in the middle of America, yeah, out perfect. there for half the year, yeah. uh, having a great time, and then come back. I'd love it. And then what you need? Get yourself another wife and kids out there. You may as well <laughs> if you're going to do it. Just double up on everything. Just yeah. do it properly. <laughs> Um, anyway, so look, I look forward to seeing that. But white gold is actually the reason why James is here. But I was interested yes. in the American yeah. stuff. Um, white gold is on Wednesday night on BBC Two. But you can watch all of season two on iPlayer now. You can watch yeah. the whole thing. Matt watched season one. Mm, he said good. it was very funny. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I liked it. I thought it was funny. There you go. And then what else is in the pipeline? What's the plan? Well, I'm not really sure. I'm thinking about taking a year off. Uh, because of I don't know I just went insane after the disastrous in between us reunion. See now you'll, uh, you'll be pleased to know I uh, I know little or nothing about this, but yeah. I heard it went down very well with everybody. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's yeah. just social media being 
typical social media. Though, I know, isn't but it? it's it's really difficult. So I I always you can't please everybody. What was the what was the problem? Did people think it was there was so it was back? Chris, there was so many problems. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there was it was just a it was a real lightning in a bottle moment of right. problems, and we managed to catch it at Brilliant. the right moment. And uh, it, yeah, it was just there was loads wrong with it, and it wasn't good enough. And it's really difficult to be when you're criticised. I've always been able to look at myself in the mirror and go, "Well, I did my best." Mm. You know, mm. pr- probably someone could have done it better, right. but I did as best as I could. This time I was like, yeah, just well, that was, yeah, you're right. Just really? just talking to people criticizing you that you know what the criticism's like on Twitter, mm. oh, yeah. because, you know. And when you look at it and you go, yeah, yeah, you're right there. <laughs> it's really it just blows your mind. Mm. You're just like, yeah, oh, God. I bet. Yep. So so then where do you go from here? Do you just leave it all? Because it was essentially it was left. Yeah. And then you've done this, but so now, do you know what you should just do? Phone up the lads. Phone up wardrobe, get all, get the old clothes, and just just yeah. wander about. Just do a few cities. Don't announce it. Just wander around town. Go to <laughs> Wimpy. Pop in somewhere, have a drink, and just be the guys yeah. and just mooch about. <laughs> and that will send everyone. They'll love it. Yeah. Well, that was what I thought would happen with the reunion. I right. thought if you just get the four of us standing next to each other on TV, right, that people will go mad. They'd be happy with it. that. Yeah. I thought there is no way that you can. <laughs> You can't mess Get it up. Get this wrong. I was going to say something else. <laughs> I, know, I, I saw know. you. Yeah, you yourself. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> don't worry. Don't let that tarnish it though, because it's just a, that was just a look. If, if this if this second if this American sitcom gets picked yeah. up, just call up the writers and go. You need to just hastily write something where all of a sudden we're in America. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll, we'll just film it during the day. Before. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. And everyone will love it. Apart from some people who hate it, but they'll really <laughs> hate it and they'll tell you about it because yes. it's all your fault. It, yeah. That's the other thing. It it's was always your fault. Um, <laughs> lovely to see you. I'm glad I made you feel better about yourself. I'm glad I've cheered you up. Thanks, uh, and love to the family. Thanks, mate. You can stay at home for a bit now. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to, yeah, it was about eight months all in all I was in the Oof, States last a lot. year. Wow. Well, you'll, let's be honest. You'll stay at home for as long as Claire will have you home. And then when she goes... What's happened with that America thing? Do you know? Oh, yeah, no, don't get me wrong. Working in America has saved my marriage. <laughs> there you go. Lovely. But when I come home and, like, <laughs> I've been away for a while and my wife misses me and is nice to me. It's nice. Good. Nice. That's why you need to be upstairs in the man cave more often. Yes. Maybe a couple of days, like, come down. She'll be like, ah, oh, I missed you. <laughs> uh, White Guard is on iPlayer now. You can watch the whole of season two. Lovely to see you. Thanks, Ladies mate. and gentlemen, Mr. James Buckley. It's the Chris Moyle Show. With the KFC Veggie Rice Box. A delicious corn on the cob with Tex-Mex rice and salad. Just A good cup of tea can fix everything. Well, possibly not your broken boiler, but Trust a Trader are always on hand to help. Trustatrader.com have lots of really lovely tradespeople who are vetted, reviewed and reliable. So you'll have your pick of a great bunch. Simply pop the kettle on and head online to find a professional in their trade, including that heating engineer. See, a cup of tea does fix everything. When it comes to business meetings, some things never change. Like the always awkward greeting. The hug you thought was a handshake. The one kiss, two kiss, can-can. 